now we begin part two of the birthday celebration. Um, so a couple of things that I want to preface here is this banner started about two weeks ago, and during that time I was away at Katsukan with GBG, his fiance, and some of their other friends. Uh, during some downtime, I did the 40 summons on here, got three of the four focus heroes. I will demonstrate here. Uh, see, Lucia is here, Jeffrey, Alicia, and I have Azura as the lead for good luck because today's her birthday too. Now, the goal of this, as I jump right into it, I want to get some merges for Lucia because she is my favorite character. And if I don't get any reds, then I will pick up whatever greens or blues I can because um, merge for Jeffrey would be good, and I don't have Bastion yet, so, you know, do that while I can, and we will go from there. So, I know the question that's on a lot of people's minds when I talk about, when I talk about, uh, you know, these characters in this game in particular, why Lucia? Why her, and not, you know, one of the other True Blade, Swordmasters, etc., etc.? Or better yet, you know, one of the lords so the way the way these games play or more specifically the uh Tellius saga fire emblems it's just there's 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 so much uh i think i talked a little bit about this in my path of radiance let's play but but really they just they just offer a lot of uh freedom and flexibility and um basically what you can do with um with the uh, with the skill system and basically basically your ability to make your strong characters even stronger and the uh, the uh, weaker characters better. So I took it upon myself to uh, basically issuing the challenge of like well the challenge the challenge was ne there was never really a challenge issued but. Um, basically, someone like if someone tells me that something's you know weak or suboptimal, then I try I try to uh, you know you know I challenging you know here the challenging the challenge issued in this case I challenge myself to see if I can make it good or you know find a way to you know turn it around make it fun or interesting so on and so forth and you probably hear this argument not just for Fire Emblem, but for other RPGs as well. That, you know, just because one person can find a practical use for something doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that, that that something is useless. It's just that it hasn't really... that hasn't been found yet, and someone else needs to go and discover it. Sometimes that person can be you, sometimes it can be me, and that's just, that's just, what's, that's just what makes it fun. Sometimes someone did find something, and they haven't been able to share it yet. And really, even if it's not about, you know, making something viable, it's just, you know, for the, it's just the sake of, you know, making it fun or interesting, or at the very least, unique. And I wanted to be that unique person. So when it came to Lucia's gameplay, um, you know, of course, I took all the, all the steps I did in... Uh, in my in my own time, back when I was streaming Radiant Dawn, that was a long, long time ago. Basically, to make her as overpowered as possible, and you know, even with all the options you have, there are a couple of limitations because you only have so much uh, capacity available and skills, and then eventually your stats are just going to cap off anyway. But it was still a lot of fun, lots and lots of fun. So that's more or less the gameplay side of things. What about the story? Well, <clears throat> kind of already shooting myself in the foot in the foot here by by bringing this up, but it's not like it matters too much anyway because you know because those games are you know fifteen plus years old. It's not really <laughs> like at that point I pretty much consider it, I consider it fair game uh, when it when it comes to like you know plot and you know the you know giving giving things away too early. Etc. Etc. But I talked about this a little bit in my propaganda video that I that I did some years ago, but I deleted it because, well, it was really just a thing for CYL, and CYL has 
you know, only comes once a year. It lasts for seven days, and the voting period had already concluded by the time that by the time that video was around. So, so like the retainer type characters, you know, someone like Oswin from FE seven, uh, Finn from FE four and five, to do from three houses, you know, it's not certain. It's it's definitely not a new thing. And, uh, you know, I think even, I think even today it's still, you know, continuing on. I mean, Engage had the, you know, the twin stewards. That basically, that basically, character A lives and dies for character B. And, uh, essentially, you know, dedicates their life not just to, uh, not just to character B's safety. Um, basically making the most of your life to uh, bring and provide the best for someone else. Um, I think there was even fan art that somebody made of of a certain scene from uh, from Radiant Dawn, uh, and they included the caption, when you live for someone, you are prepared to die. That definitely applies here. Not just to, not just to the character, but to myself personally. Like, I mean, take it from me, I've never... I mean, I've never dated. I've never, you know, gone on my way to like. I don't even know what the right the right the right word I'm looking for is, but basically, you know, people. There are people I know who have that special somebody, or you know, have gone out of their way to find that special somebody, but you know, even if even even if I'm not you know, living with that person or you know, fully, fully committed, etc., etc. Like, I still want to, you know, be there for them, make, let them know, let them know that, you know, everything's going to be okay. You know, you're not, you're not in this alone. And, uh, yeah, you know, like, I definitely have some, you know, near and dear friends that I can express that to, and they're able to, you know, be aware of that, and and in even some extreme cases, they're able to uh, demonstrate that to, uh, well, to reciprocate. Essentially, again, we're not like you know romantically involved or anything, but still, the fact remains that hey, you know, that like you know, we're there for each other. We're you know we're able to you know trust, you know, trust and confide and. I like that stuff, and sometimes that's just all you really need. Some people have different needs, and uh, that's okay too. And the things that Lucia does in the story to to help not just you know you know not just her you know her brother, her countrymen, her her queen. Uh, you know, it's, it's it really spoke volumes to me. You know, and I admire that a lot. So yeah, that's about that's about the long and short of it. Now I'm keeping some numbers on track to the side here as I go along. So even though the penult even though the penultimate goal is the plus ten, and that would just be, you know, absolutely phenomenal, not just for, you know, the occasion, but, you know, you know, as kind of like a, you know, personal goal. But, you know, this is just, this is just me, you know, you know, rambling, you know, the, like the, the ramblings of a young old man, I call myself, <laughs> right now. So, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Even if even if it, in, even even if I don't meet that goal tonight, like there's, there's always tomorrow. Like that's just the other, that's just the other thing you have to remember too, guys. Sometimes, uh, sometimes life is hard. And, you know what? We all have our bad days. Sometimes the, uh, you know, sometimes you'll spend like you know hundreds of orbs and not get that one character you want, or, you know, or that skill you want. <laughs> 
but you know what? If it's not, I think there. Well, you know, there was there was there was a famous line in a certain anime that goes, "If it's not zero percent, then it's basically a hundred percent." So you just gotta believe. And uh, well, I don't really know. How, I don't know how many more. You know, how many more gaming analogies I can squeeze into a you know into a life lesson, but even so. Okay, let's see. The first 40 summons, I believe, were... I'm just going to say 144 orbs, just to, uh, you know... For simplicity's sake. Then two copies at... Uh, well... Less than 200. Keep, keeping in mind, I already had a focus charge. So, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just all talked out, so... <laughs> And uh, before I forget, I want to thank uh, the people who have, well, not just on the internet, but in real life too, um, all the birthday wishes that I received today. They were, you know, very thoughtful. I appreciate them a lot. I'm going to full circle here just for fun. And uh, it just, it's, it, and again, it's going, it's going back to what I said earlier about, you know, like, you know, you're not alone. There are people here for you. You just need to. You just need to listen. Sometimes those people are far away. Sometimes they're near to home. And... You know, just, uh, you know, open up a door or a window and, you know, reach out or be willing to have someone reach out to you, you know? I mean, because take it from me, I, I mean, I, aside from the, uh, the care that I received from my parents, I was, you know, I, you know, I, I had my, I had my circles of friends growing up. It wasn't, uh, you know, like, it's not like I was completely secluded or anything, but, but, you know, I kind of do things, you know, my way and you know, go at it alone because I, it's just, it's just easier for me to, you know, be independent. And, uh, I'm really struggling to find the, uh, find the thing I want to follow up on through that, but, but, you know, Throughout these past 30 years, I definitely have known some pretty good people.
Okay. Three in... Wait, where are we now? I'm already using count. Oh. That about explains it. Three in 300. We're definitely hitting the, the average. Or... I guess statistically this would be worse than average, but... Whatever. Like I said, this is just for fun. It's not, you know... Not a super serious thing. Oops. Got a little too excited. Back. And again. Yeah, I really, uh, hmm. Not really sure what else to talk about now. This is... <laughs> I mean, I guess I can just, you know sit here and cross my fingers while the focus charge goes up, if and when it goes up. I mean, I guess other than the fact that, you know, it's still kind of surreal that, you know, that this banner had to show up while I was while I was away on vacation and, you know, that I got to share that experience with some good friends and that it, you know, and that it just happened to, you know, run over the course of um, this coming weekend and, you know, all the significances behind that. But, well, and of course being able to share this experience again with the world. But, you know, that's, you know, kind of ties into what I was, what I was, what I was saying in the, uh, in, in the Looking Back series. About, you know, sharing, you know, about sharing my world and, uh, you know, the things I like and hope, hoping that, you know, Hoping I can, you know, make, you know, what's the word? You know, make those viewpoints a little easier to understand, to the best of my ability, of course. Because believe me, I've had a lot of misunderstandings in my life, but, you know, time and place for everything. And... And, you know, that's just, that's, that's just all I'm here for, really. I, I want to, you know, I want to have fun. I want to be able to, you know, you know, get some good laughs out of it and, you know, share things, learn things, so on and so on. Like, I think there was, a, I think there was a point in time where, you know, where I was trying to take it a little too seriously. And at that point, it just wasn't, it just wasn't fun anymore. And I had to really, you know, take a step back, think about things and why I was doing them and what I ultimately wanted to get out of it because
because um because that's just how life is I guess I, I don't I don't really know a, I don't really know a better way of saying it but any, anyone who's been a similar in a similar situation probably knows what I'm trying to you know what I'm trying to go up and go for here and And I'm sure those people have also, you know, had similar thought processes. Even if it's just not, you know, specifically for entertainment, but for, like, even... Even just for, like, your, you know, like, your general hobbies. Like, do you want to make a... Do you want do you want to make a job out of your hobby? Or, you know, like, what, like what, what exactly are you trying to do with it? What do you want to get out of it? That kind of thing. That's something else I kind of want to, you know, kind of want, that I kind of want to make clear is that, you know, this is that, you know, this this medium, and you know, like in the in the long run, it's all just for fun. It's you know, like I don't want to I don't want to be you know, like too too serious or too hardcore about it because that's just that's just not my style. You know, other people might want to be serious about it. That's fine too. Different things work for different people. Like I never want to, you know, be snooty or noodly about it, uh, like I may have been in the past. Because you know, I mean, I'll admit, in my in my teen years, when I when I started everything, I was, you know, you know, a, a little brash. I felt like I was on top of the world, sort of, um, sort of say, and you know, maybe I said some things that I shouldn't have, but you know. It's all part, that's that's also part of growing up, you know. You know, you have to make a couple of mistakes to, you know, see the bigger picture, find out, you know, who you are, what you want to do, and, whoops. Sometimes that's just all you can do. But again, everyone has their baggage, and uh, sometimes you just you just have to you just have to live with it. You um you know, but Okay, just to, just as a side commentary, this this appearance rate with the focus charge is a little scary, especially with color assignments. But anyway, as I was as I was trying to say before my before my thoughts trailed off, uh, you know, I like to keep. And, I mean. These days, especially, I like to really keep an open mind. You know, I want to. I want to be able to see things from you know multiple viewpoints, not just you know one or two. And I said this. A lot, I said this a lot in job interviews. Uh, as a matter of fact, that you know that you know when you're making an argument or when you're trying to solve a problem, you want to view something from as many angles as possible. Because that's the only way you can really you know you know, you know, learn from that and find the best solution for that, that can, that, that can satisfy, you know, well, I can't say everybody, but, you know, but, you know, at the very least, I find some kind of a, some kind of a happy medium that most people can, you know, be okay with. But, when I make those arguments, 
uh, I, n- I never want to, you know, again, I don't want I don't want to come off as snooty or, you know, be too forceful about it because that's never, I mean, that's never been the goal with me at all. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be, you know, like, like, I, like I have a real problem with, you know, with, with like with the way, like it's exactly like, it's not, I need to calm down. <laughs> Like, I don't want to have to, you know, that's like, you know, I like, a, like, obviously I'm, you know, I, I, like, I, like a lot of people want their voices to be heard and that's perfectly fine, but I never, I never want, you know, my, you know, my principles or ideals to, to essentially replace those of others because that's just, that's just not right. There's no, there's no individuality in that, you know, when that, when that happens and You know, it's good. It's good to come to an understanding, but never to the point of like, you know, mirroring somebody or having someone essentially, like, like I said, absorb. I mean, absorb your whole thought process, and just you know, not be able to think for themselves. Like that's not okay. And you know, like I said, I I don't I do not want to. Like I definitely don't want to go down that road, and it's it's tough. curious. Uh, wow, okay. I guess I should have mentioned that it's rain that it's uh, raining pretty heavily where I am right now, so that may or may not be messing up my connection. Out of interest in time and battery power, I might end the video pretty soon because this luck is pretty atrocious. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Like I said, sometimes you get a bad day and you just have to, uh, you know, make the most of it. And I don't mean to say today was bad. No, today was actually pretty good. It rained a lot. But, you know, again, I had, you know, I had a handful of people say, you know, in their own way that, you know, that they're there. And to me, that's all that really matters. You know, even if I'm not like you know, deeply attached to somebody, like you know, at least at least knowing that I have someone to talk to is good. Even even if I keep my even if I may prefer to you know keep to myself a lot, and oftentimes I, I definitely do. <laughs> I'll I'll be I'll be the first to admit, but you know, having those options available, much like in video games, is good. Options are good. Wow, 9%. That's the first time I've seen that happen. So, you know... Sometimes that just sometimes that just happens. You have to break a couple of eggs, and uh, you know, 
whatever. We all get omelets at the end of the day. Even if uh, even if it takes, you know, a year or a couple of years, everything's going to be okay. So, thanks for listening. Thanks for the wishes. And I'll see you back in a couple of days. Or, yeah, let's go with two days. So, Sunday, with more Trauma Team. See you then.